after a fun day full of racing at Belle Isle, you are probably going to work up quite the appetite. Well, there's a place not too far from Detroit that loves cars just as much as anybody else. That's right. And today for Dine in the D, Michelle Oliver is taking us to Ford's Garage in Dearborn to fuel up. Hey, Jert and I have been there. With big, flavorful burgers and an old-fashioned Model T, foodies and car lovers alike will want to put their pedal to the metal and jet on over to Ford's Garage in Dearborn. Ford's Garage is a casual dining restaurant that pays homage to uh, Henry Ford and the history of the Ford Motor Company. And it comes down to prime burgers and craft beers in a kind of a cool 19, late 20s, early 30s uh, vibe. The restaurant opened this location in Ford's hometown back in 2017. Ford's Garage got started in uh, 2012 in Fort Myers, Florida, playing homage to Henry Ford, who had a winter estate down there. People with headquarters really wanted to have a presence here in Detroit. World headquarters is just about a mile away. Every little detail is a nod to Ford's history. Well, each of our uh, Ford's Garage restaurants actually has a uh, Model A or sometimes a Model T behind the bar that is the focus of the restaurant. Ford Motor Company was founded in 1903 and their first factory was actually on Mack Avenue in Detroit. And we built the facade to this room to mimic the outside of that original building. And then inside, we've actually got some reclaimed uh, wood and some reclaimed brick from the city, just celebrating what it probably felt like in those early days. They even have these two cars outside to take pictures with. This place is definitely for car lovers. If you love cars, you're going to like Ford's Crash. But it's also for people who just love America, want to celebrate that, like a cool atmosphere. And, it, you know, the food is great. Well, all this food looks amazing, so let's get into the menu. And we're going to start with one of their appetizers. This is their sesame seared ahi tuna. Now this fish is triple A sashimi grade, so it's really high quality. It's served with Asian slaw and seaweed salad. Now besides their burgers, they're also really famous for their mac and cheese, and this is their shrimp mac and cheese. Now the sauce is this creamy, cheesy mixture with a little bit of lobster stock in there, giving it some depth. It's using kava tapi noodles topped with white shrimp, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, and a three cheese blend. Now, if you're looking for something lighter or maybe something gluten-free, check out their blackened salmon salad. So this has mixed greens, cherry tomatoes, red onions, avocados, and a lime vinaigrette dressing. One of their most popular entrees is their Chicken Henry, named after Henry Ford. So this is a seasoned chicken breast that's been grilled. It's topped with goat cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, a basil chiffonade, and a lemon butter sauce. It comes with mashed potatoes and green beans on the side. Now getting into the sandwiches, this is their pulled barbecue pork sandwich. It's made with pecan smoked pork shoulder, a bourbon barbecue sauce is topped with their homemade coleslaw, and we're showing this one with onion rings on the side. Moving on to their flagship burgers, this is their estate burger. Now this is a half a pound of Angus beef. It's topped with smoked Gouda, tomato, you have onion straws on there, a bacon, truffle, aioli, and it's all in a brioche bun. And finally, for dessert, we have their caramel apple skillet. Now this is a cookie that has apple chunks and salted caramel inside. It's topped with vanilla bean ice cream. It comes with fresh whipped cream and a drizzle of salted caramel. Another amazing find, of course, by Michelle. And if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It's sent straight to your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletter tab at the top of Click on Detroit. And when, while you're online, you can join the Dine in the D group on Facebook. That way, you'll always be in the know when it comes to the best food in Detroit.